Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are a returning subscriber, you are my favorite person. You don't even know it yet. So I know I have been away from this place for a while, but I'm back. I've had back to back to back to back projects, but things are busy up now. And I know I promised a piece of video, which will be filmed tomorrow or Friday, but will go up on Saturday. I'm holding myself accountable for that. But uh, before we do the pizza video, I want us to do a kitchenware, homeware haul. So last Sunday, but one, I went and did shopping. <laughs> My first stop was at ShopRite. And let me just tell you something. Stop sleeping on ShopRite. ShopRite is actually the girl that she thinks she is. So the first thing I got at ShopRite was uh, this... Uh, can opener. I always open my cans with nails, but I may upgrade the You can see the condition of my nails, but I'm going to get them fixed. Shout out to Edwin at Lux Nails Parlor who does my nails. So this um, can opener went for 152 shillings, which to me is a steal. I also got this dish brush with a soap dispenser for less than 100 shillings. I also got this jar for less than 400 shillings at ShopRite. If you've watched my current favorites video, you noticed I was storing my tea bags in a airtight glass container. I think that's what it's called. But now I changed and I'm putting them in here. And this went for less than 400 shillings, which is a steal. I also got another airtight glass container for less than 400 shillings. Now, if you are an ardent buyer of these airtight glass containers, you know the cheapest ones go for like 600 shillings. And this was a steal because I got it for less than 600 shillings and it's also partitioned. It's easy to open. And that's how it looks like. The next thing I got at ShopRite was this... Um, salt shaker. Now let me tell you my history with salt shakers is anytime I buy a salt shaker after a while in Anzaku rust and ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for rusty salt shaker. So I got this one. I crossed my fingers and I hope it won't rust. So this one went for less than 100 shillings. I've lost the receipt for shop right. But the good thing is I remember the price range. This one went for less than 100 shillings. I also got this steak and chops spice. This one went for, I think, 100 plus shillings. I wanted the actual uh, spice bottle, but I didn't find them, so I got the refills. So this is for my steak and lamb chops. And this is also a steak and chops seasoning. Both went for the same price, and they are all spices for steaks and the chops. And they are refills. What the hell was that? But I'm going to put them into a jar, although I don't like putting my spices in normal jars. I have my reason. The next thing I got at ShopRite, I didn't get this at ShopRite actually. I got this at Carrefour and this went for 500 plus shillings. Now, the reason why this is here is because at ShopRite it's going for 300 shillings and I'm just putting you on. Whenever you have time, go to ShopRite and get yourself some kitchen scissors and um, I also got this um, oil dispenser from Carrefour I don't know if it's called an oil dispenser I think it's called an oil dispenser I got this at Carrefour for I think 200 shillings I only had the olive oil one but I wanted one just for normal vegetable oil so I got this so I think that's it for ShopRite let me show you now what I got next at Okadeko. Okadeko is at uh, Two Rivers Mall and the first thing I got was this uh, flower vase, flower vase, flower vase, depends on how far your school is from England. And uh, I got this for Sijatoa <laughs> sticker so that I don't forget the price. I got it for 810 shillings but I bought it purposely to be my utensils holder. I am going to arrange this. This does not look very cute, but um, 
I wanted a utensil holder that I can see and it can see me. We see each other. <laughs> you can tell I watch reality TV, can't you? I'm going to remove the sticker, clean it and arrange everything there. Some are going to go, some are going to stay there. The next thing I got was this. The lady who put me on is Angel Lately. I share the same sentiments with her. This is a scallop dish, but I want to also use it as my spoon rest. I don't like a spoon rest that is very, what's the word, that is very apparent that it's a spoon rest. Most of them you'll find are even written spoon rest on the spoon rest, <laughs> you know what I mean. But I wanted one that is not written, that it's a spoon rest. So I got this for 560 shillings. It still has the stickers. I'm just unboxing everything as we speak, but I'll clean it as well and it's going to be staying there and my spoons are going to be resting there. I've tried testing and I can tell you <laughs> the things that make me happy, that it's practical. You can see it's practical and I'm happy about that. So the next thing I got at Okadeko is this uh, spoon, wooden spoon. Now these spoons, they're usually a bit expensive, but I got this for 170, which I think is a steal. I also got this uh, kitchen towel holder. This went for 460 shillings. I just wanted to upgrade from my stainless steel one. I just wanted a wooden one. So I got this as well. The next The next item I got at Oka Deco is this um, fruit basket. Initially, they had posted one on their page that was very cute. Very cute. It wasn't like this. It was just flat. And I went to the shop and found its gold. Now, I'm trying to stick to a theme with this kitchen. I'm aiming to achieve a silver white theme. So, I got this at... Um, at 1790 and it's really cute so i'm actually headed to go and buy groceries at Kapo. i'm going to buy oranges and apples and whatever seasonal fruits that they'll be having that i like so that you can fill in this using pineapples by the way to museum or 50 bobapa these pineapples are for 50 shillings there's a guy who brings them in a pro box I December to Mananasi 50, Mananasi 50, na kuanga hapo chini na nachukua. I think that's it from Okadeko. So the next place I went to was uh, Mr. Price home. It's also at Two Rivers. And the first thing I got was, oh, I got a flower vase, flower vase. And I like it. I actually tried to improvise my flower vases, but I wanted to get a natural flower vase for my kitchen. So I'm going to be putting these flowers that who are brought today here. <laughs> so I'm going to put these flowers here. I think I'll put the white ones. White roses are my favorite. And whatever seasonal blooms I get, I'll also put here. So the next thing that I got at Mr. Price home is this silicone spatula. Let me tell you. I always run out of love with spatulas. Every time I go and buy a spatula, there's no spatula. And whatever spatula I get, I don't like because it's not silicone. So when I went to Mr. Price and I saw this silicone spatula, I was like, I don't care. I don't care how much it's going to cost. Just, huh? That I'm now officially an owner of a silicone spatula. That's so lame. <laughs> that I'm now an owner of a silicone spatula. I'm just going to get it. I got it for 750 shillings, and this flower vase was uh, was 450 shillings. I remember that. So that's it for Mr. Price home. Wait, before I finish, I'd forgotten that this uh, kitchen drama that I got at Okadeko. I got this for, let me just check. I got, I got this kitchen runner for, for 
for 1730 shillings this is how it looks and it's very cute it's it's matching with my theme for this kitchen i'm just going to be i'm just going to be placing it here i'll arrange that so that uh, my floors are not greasy and i think that's it now from okadeko so as i was uh, walking away from uh, okadeko i saw this uh, shop it's called emadel emadel carpets and furnishing so i got this for 260 shillings and it says welcome in uh, german i'm going to put it at the entrance of my house the next thing i got at emadel was this bathroom set mat and the thing i like about this set is that it doesn't have that that kifuniko ya cho because let's just be honest that thing is usually very very irrelevant it does not serve purpose i don't use it so i got this because they have not one but two mats and this extra one for your toilet so they were also at a good deal this went for 1200 plus this welcome mat i think i paid 1400 shillings and i'm just going to throw it i'll arrange so last but nowhere near least was ashley I went to Ashley. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Ashley. <laughs> the minute I walked into Ashley, I got, um, it's not really my style, but it's very posh and it's very, it gives me antique ish vibes. And so when I hopped in, I was like, oh, that's cute, that's cute, oh, 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 oh that's cute too. But then I leaned on to check the pricing. <laughs> it hit me real quick that this store is not within my tax bracket but guess what i did i soldiered on knowing very well i'm not acting within my wage you know just to make myself feel good speaking furnishings and furniture into existence you know normalize a little bit larger in your life and Ah, I got this hourglass that I'm going to put on my coffee table. I have tested it. It's, it's exactly 1 hour 30 seconds. And this will be very cute on my coffee table. I got this for 19.95. That's 1,995 shillings. And, um, and I think it's very beautiful. It's not the biggest. This was actually, I think, the smallest. And I can bet you this was probably the cheapest thing in that store. I'm going to arrange these things. This place is just so messy right now. I'm going to put flowers in here. I'll probably go get what I need to get and then I'll come back and show you how everything has worked out. So guys, I'm back from running my errands and I grabbed a few items at Kapo. I got these uh, drawer mats. These are for spreading here where you put your utensils. I also got uh, this basket. This is for storing my keys, my house keys. I also got um, this diffuser. This is for my bathroom. This is also a small pedal bin for my bathroom. I also got a wine glass. I've broken mine. I broke the last one yesterday, so I had to replace. I also got a sensitive gloves for cleaning around. And I also got uh, lemon and ginger honey. I was craving cake and a coke. So I got a cake and coke. And now you remember the spice that I was telling you that I didn't get the actual bottle. Instead, I got the refills. I'm going to Kafo and I found the actual spice in a bottle. So I'll now put my other refill here. So now I want to put my flowers in here and let me put you on. I usually put uh, bleach just about the top so that the flowers uh, can last more than a week because I may not change the water daily so on days that I forget to change the water I just put the bleach and then I cut them you start from down there and keep cutting every day when you change your water so you should cut them like this 
So once you've cut your flowers and you've put in bleach, you can now put your flowers in there and they look cute. I'll keep cutting as I change the water and I'm going to put them there before I find a perfect place for them. I also bought uh, fruits. I bought apples and oranges and bananas. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of such content, please leave a comment down below. I'll see you very soon where we're making pizza from scratch. Until then, stay safe. Bye.